What a wonderful day today. Merry Christmas to everybody celebrating and happy holidays. Okay, bro, do you ever feel like killing yourself? Because I do. I'll tell you why. You get to meet Jesus before everybody else. No taxes. Back in the day, I blew up on YouTube because I did the worst reviewed series. I went all over Dubai trying out the worst and the best reviewed salons. I did a makeup look with my friend. I did a bridal makeup look. I did so many different versions of it. But then I thought of bringing it back for Christmas where I try and test out worst and the best reviewed cakes in Dubai. The first one is one of the worst reviewed bakeries. The other one is a super high rated bakery. And there are some comments I'm gonna read that people are so hilarious. I drove all the way there on a Thursday and they don't have neither a half half cake or pieces of small cakes. Such a Appointment and it's a Thursday evening and what time are you supposed to have cakes? <laughs> Worst bakery ever. And upon opening the box, one literally needs a magnifying glass to see it. It was so minuscule that we were embarrassed to bring it out to our guests. <laughs> I actually asked for five and they both delayed it by 15 to 45 minutes. They were like, sorry, like we're running out of time. So I thought that's okay. Like, so the best review came at 5.15 and the worst review is not here. <laughs> no, it's 6 p.m. and it's dark outside and there's the worst review isn't here yet. Ha! That's why they call the worst reviewed. But I'm going to show you something else. So we wait. Here's the worst reviewed bunny and the best reviewed bunny. They both suck actually. Hi, bunny bear. Guys, I hate my friends. I'll be playing around with a white bunny and they'll be like, ah, oh, racism much. <laughs> we love both bunnies. You're both best rated bunnies in the whole Dubai. These are my rich bunnies. Oh, look at that. Nom, 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 nom. So the worst review is here. <laughs> And I need to show you the box, but I don't want to show you the cake. But the box is so weird. Let me show you. Um, hello. <laughs> they have one box opened up and there's another box that's covering the top. But like, bro, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Why are there fucking holes and gaps? The, the driver probably breathed through this. Okay, I don't want to eat this. This is a little nasty, don't you think? Like what? It should be like fully covered from the bakery, right from the kitchen. I'm not okay with fucking gaps and holes in between. I look like the Grinch. I really am feeling like one today. Like I don't want to be a I'm being nitpicky, but so this is the box for the five star, which looks really good. I love it. Then this was the worst reviewed bakery. I mean, I love the box and everything, but I'm not okay with it. Literally traveling like fucking 20 kilometers from where they were all the way to my house with holes on the side. Like by the time they came up to my apartment, God fucking knows what the cake collected. You know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to be nitpicky at all. Like I don't care. I brush my teeth once a month and I shower thrice a year. Like I'm not the most germaphobe person on the planet. It, but I would like some cover. I'm gonna open it up. Ah! Okay, this cake is huge. So let me first show you the picture that I asked for. So this is what I asked for, and I think it's pretty easy. I, I don't think it's intricate at all, but it really depends on the cake and like, you know how they are. So I'm gonna open up the first five-star review cake. Holy shit! This is so. Uh... You know, one of these rich parents who buy these kind of crazy intricate tall thick cakes for their kids birthday and the kids like two years old and i've always been jealous because i've never been that kid but today for the first time ever i feel like one so this is what the cake looks like uh it's a little melted on the sides it says merry christmas right there Okay, let's get nitpicky together. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole world. <laughs> they used fondant and they circled it and it just looks so bad. It looks so deformed. Can you see that? But it's only when you come up close, like otherwise I think it's fine, whatever. Actually, yeah, now looking at it up close to the picture, I think it's pretty good, right? Shit, they nailed it. Okay, so now comes the fun part where we get to take a little bite. My little uh, bunny bear is here. She wants a bite too, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna get in. Oh my God, look at the color. So I just got myself a slice. The cake looks phenomenal. Look at that. <laughs> so good. Okay, let me just take a bite. I don't have a good palate. Uh, you could literally mix your grandma's ashes with this and I will still say it's good. So don't, don't trust me with the taste, but um, oh wow. This is so good. It's so rich. This is a chocolate truffle. That's what I asked for. Mm -mm. But I love the decoration. They got everything spot on. That's crazy. So this cake definitely gets a say like a 9 out of 10. I got my cake in the freezer just for it to chill a little bit. So yeah, cakes. So this is what the cake looks like in all angles. And I have to say, I do choose the best reviewed. I paid $160, that's 600 dirhams for this cake, and, and it was so worth it. So if you wonder what this cake is, I asked for red velvet cake. So it's gonna be red velvet with the white frosting, pink fondant, the driver's shoe dust, the fifth grader who sneezed in the elevator, everything is gonna be mixed in with this cake because of the fucking holes in the side. I'm not ready to eat that. So, uh, this is pretty huge. I literally think there could be a lizard sitting inside. Oh my god. Hold on. If you're thinking this is a great job, let me show you. <laughs> let me show you what I'm seeing. <laughs> this is a card. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, this is a 
cardboard cutout of the gingerbread house. This was me in uni. The teachers would ask an essay like this and I would submit something like this. What the hell on earth is this? Bunny, are you seeing this atrocity? Would you leave this bunny? What the hell is this? Oh, your paw's gonna touch. Anyway, never mind. It's Everybody's touched this by now. I asked for a gingerbread house on top of my cake. Except for this green leaf. Yeah, everything went wrong. Whatever the snake thing is, they picked up the snake from Florida. Like, why the f is it this weird and long? And why did they stop twirling it? The receptionist down my building who just touched it with his thumb because why is it shaped like that? I don't get it. Well, I like the frosting work on top. Um, I hate this. They did such a good job with these. They look like the real candy cane, not, not like the fondant fake one that we saw on the actual five star cake, right? The house is little. This is something you'll find in New York for like five million dollars, and they'll be like, "Sorry, it's just one bedroom with five cockroaches. Like you either take this or you don't." The five star cake was like a mansion that Justin Bieber is living in, and this is just me, me in five years when my YouTube channel flops. <laughs> so here they have taken glue and they stuck it on top. Babe, I literally asked for a gingerbread house. What the fuck is this? Frosting looks really pretty. It looks really glazy. Okay, guys, so we're gonna take our first little bite. Cake is extremely dry. Can't even finish this. This is really bad. Even the front looks magnificent. You turn to the side, it's just so disappointing. <laughs> See how dry the cake is. So yeah, the winner is, of course, I'm voting best of you. Since a lot of you're like, oh, we don't trust your shitty judgment because I get judged over my music taste, my makeup, my outfits, like I get fucking dragged anyway. So I was like, you know what, fine. Don't trust me. I'm just gonna take the cake to three different houses. I'm gonna take my parents' house and then also Lubaba and Farva. Like, we're gonna have a lot of people taste test this. Okay, so we have this cake. I think this is the expensive one. This is the cheap one. Okay, go, Dad. <laughs> this one is 600. This is 300. This is 300. This is what I asked for. Is this the same? I think my dad won't like this. He hates uh, chocolate. Everything is falling. Big house. Yeah. This is the 300 gram cake. Mm, nice. Nice? My god, my dad will eat prison food and say it's nice. Dad has terrible taste, okay? Next. Okay, okay. Okay, enough. Oh my god, he's eating the bad cake. Okay, you try the good taste another one? Yes. <laughs> See that? <laughs> I told you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, red velvet is like ass. It's so dry. This is kind of weird, yeah. Right? Uh, yeah this is yeah, like box it. cake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is weird. It's it like has some taste to taste. it. This is. Yeah, I know, of course. But taste, I it, like that one. Right? That's because your palate sucks. <laughs> Dad, that's because your taste buds have melted from all the prison food mom's been serving you for 25 years now. How are you still with mom? Like, can you like cheat already? It's been like 25 years since y'all are together. Like, it's sad at this point. So my dad voted the bad cake and my brother voted the good cake. So guys, I want y'all to be blindfolded, be a little Helen Keller-ish because I don't want y'all to see the actual fucking cake. So this is the cake that I asked for. Okay, not bad. And I'll show you the actual pictures because it's melted now. 600 rims and 300 rims. Okay, um... Wait, so did you tell both the places to make the same? Yes, the same cake, but I, ma I made sure there was different flavors. Okay, wait. I feel like this is... 600 because of the quality it's and the finishes nice. okay and i feel like it's one of those fancy bakeries because finishing is so different from this dude like yeah i this. was saying the same thing look at, look at that yeah there's so much and difference. look at i don't know it's so wonky yeah. and the and color is, is so like it's it's much more like i don't know clean and like begin no <laughs> can you wait and I think, yeah, this, okay wait you see all these decorations right yeah this is what gave away the 300 rims part you need to give me a full dissertation okay. like her <laughs> same, same. I don't eat cake okay go for this one first it sucks. Okay. I don't like chocolate cake in general. Man, this is so interesting how everybody has different opinions on this. Uh, should I get water for you guys? No. No, you should. You need to clean your saliva. palate. Oh my God. <laughs> your sister is worse than you. This is like Master Chef, but the Indian version. <laughs> it tastes nice. Okay, so ready for the red Wait, velvet? You like it? I don't like chocolate. Okay, go for the uh, red velvet now. You like red velvet? Oh, dude, there was a point in my life where I was obsessed. obsessed. With red velvet. It's like I had a phase and then never after that. How is it? It's not red velvet, you know. Not red velvet, you know. Okay, what are we? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like I can taste the eggs, bro. I don't know why. Uh, God, like gross. Sugar, yes, yeah, dry, right? This was 600 dirhams and this was 300 dirhams. <laughs> Even though the outside is, I told the same thing what you said. Look at the canes, guys. This is made out of fondant and it looks so freaking good. It looks like the, the actual sugar cane. It's really good, but it tastes like ass. Okay, listen, it looks good. Like the details are good, but what, what is this house? You put tape in it. 
Oh. Yeah, she put tape and she no, glued it. Yeah. Brett, where's the bedroom and where's the house? The f it's only the front. Specify that you wanted a house. I sent them that picture. Yes, that picture. the picture. Yeah, yeah, then that's why they chose. No, the how did this come up with the whole fucking mansion? I think this tastes really good. It was so moist, like my brother was in love with that. <laughs> they put wire. <laughs> they put toothpick. <laughs> Which is better for your intestines? The wire. Motherfucker. Did they really put mint toothpick? That's what I'm saying. It's Who puts wire? Toothpick is better than a fucking yeah. wire. Yeah. I would just eat that without feeling the word. Wire is so undetectable. Like I would just like. Yeah, bitch. If you look at this picture, you can see that it's a fucking house. It's not a picture. You're the type of person who eats from your eyes. Like I you do. Enjoy visually. But this is so food. please. Feels like I'm eating. Eggs. Yeah, it's I feel like they rushed it. This is actually edible. Like brother loved the gingerbread house. Try to eat the edible pieces yeah. there. I don't like the gingerbread house. Do you know what it tastes like? Burma biscuits. Oh my god. If, if you're from Lucknow, if you know that, if you know, everybody left. <laughs> what happened? Oh. <laughs> just, just smash it. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just take the cake and smash my face into it? Just ruin my life even more. <laughs> and you can't ruin what's already ruined. <laughs> Final verdict. Mom's over. She is, but move on. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate. Yeah, Chocolate's better. Realize, realize. <laughs> what? Why would you say that? She doesn't get it because she's not on I fucking got it. TikTok. No, no, I got it, but like. It's, it's true, realize, realize. <laughs> but this is the time point where you unsub. I'm here at my sisters. They all make little Christmas cards for me. Hi, show me your cards. I'm gonna judge the shit out of it. This is Sass. She gave me, oh my God, why is it torn already? <laughs> anyway, I was gonna tear it, so it's fine. <laughs> May this special holiday fill you with joy and love. Nothing, Jazz, I'm in like the most depressed state. It's not filled with love or joy. Ooh, it's a Christmas tree. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> where the hell is a place where you place the star? Wow, this is the whole dissertation, sis. I don't have time for this, but let me just read through. Oh, you're the only one and cousin sister I have. This is a C plus. Next. What the hell is this? I truly am the Grinch for this Christmas. Okay, so which one is me? Because all four of them look ugly as shit. That's you. Me. That's me. And that's your and Jazz. Oh, so for everybody else, you've given them Kylie Jenner lips, but oh, for me, I don't have any lips. Of course you do. <laughs> Who's this? Look, and then you can see it. Oh, it's a. <laughs> Ooh, somebody got the Christmas tree right. <laughs> Jas must be upset. No. Oh, that's okay. Okay, now let's actually taste test the cake. That's the best part of today's video. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Jasmine and I'm 13 years old. Uh, I like to draw, color, and do art. Okay. Hi, my name's Sina. I'm 10 years old and I love arts and crafts. And my name's Jonah. I like to clean the house, just the floors. <laughs> it's nice. They're both good? This is expensive? Mm -hmm. Which is your favorite? Oh, really? Which cake do you think is 600? Hmm. How is it? Good. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> so the final verdict, the expensive cake has six votes and that's the winner. I know everyone's lonely during the holidays. Hopefully you felt included. Let me know if there's anything else I should try the worst review series on. I really miss this. Thanks for watching. See ya. I asked them what do they do for Christmas and they're like, that's their Christmas tree. Lifeless. Um, Jesus' 22nd birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus' 22nd birthday? <laughs>